Happy Easter. Yesterday, Nicholas spoke of Saturday as being an empty day, a day when Jesus lay dead in the tomb and all the hopes for the future were in tatters. Today is Easter Sunday. It is a day full of stuff like chocolate eggs, the Easter bunny, visiting family and friends, and maybe a church service or two. At the first ever Easter, over 2,000 years ago in Jerusalem, a life-changing event occurred, which was witnessed by a small group of brave and faithful women. So let's join them on an emotional roller coaster, according to Luke's Gospel, chapter 24, verses 1 to 12. The devoted group included Mary Magdalene, Joanna, Mary the mother of James, and the other unnamed women. Their entire world had just fallen apart after witnessing the crucifixion and seeing Jesus' dead body being laid in the tomb. Very early in the morning, the grief-stricken group of women set out with a purpose to anoint the body of their beloved Jesus. Arriving at the tomb, they discover the stone rolled away and on entering the tomb, it is empty. Imagine their utter confusion. Where has Jesus' body gone? Then, suddenly, two men in glows that gleamed like lightning stood beside them. In their terrified state, they push their faces against the ground as the angels ask, Why do you look for the living among the dead? He is not here. He is risen. They reminded the women of Jesus' prediction. The Son of Man must be delivered over to the hands of sinners, be crucified and on the third day be raised again. Then they remembered his words and realised Jesus was alive. He has been risen from the dead. They believe, as the holy witness bears witness of them. They're overjoyed. The women hurried back to the rest of Jesus' closest companions, who were hiding out in fear for their lives. Unfortunately, the grieving and guilt-ridden apostles reject the women's good news because their words seemed like no nonsense to them. However, Peter appeared to be a little more, more open. Guilt-ridden and mourning the death of his dearest friend, he ran to the tomb. Bending over, he saw the strips of linen lying by themselves, and he went away, wondering to himself, what has happened? Does Peter dare to believe that it's true? Is Jesus alive? And what about you? Do you believe the story of the resurrection? The resurrection is a landmark event which changed history forever. It is a central fact that the church is built on. The resurrection is unique. Only Christianity has a God who became human, who died for his people on Good Friday for all our sin. And on the third day, Easter Sunday, rose again in power and glory to rule his people forever. I believe, I believe in Jesus. Christianity is about having a relationship with a person that being Jesus, and my life has been forever changed since I encountered him. He gives me the strength for each day and gives me great hope for tomorrow. His love is unconditional, and he provides me with the peace beyond worldly understanding during the trials of my life. Today, thank him for his sacrifice on the cross, and choose to spend a little time each day getting to know Jesus better, in prayer, by med meditating on the Bible, by being still to feel his presence, or by talking to others about their faith. Remember, nothing is impossible with God. He rose his son from the dead, 
because he loves us and wants to save us, which includes you. You are precious to him. So, thank you, Jesus, for all you do and for bringing us closer to Father God. Amen.